To estimate the amount of force required to blow up such a huge whale, British explosives expert Terry Thompson reviews the footage of the bloody aftermath. This incredible event involved a rupturing of the sperm whale's um, abdomen, which caused material from the sperm whale to be projected quite a large distance. For instance, here you, you might just be able to make out a mass of material just adjacent next to this car here. That car is about 30 meters from the sperm whale. So for that to have been projected 30 meters indicates to me just how um, volatile an event this was. My estimation of this would be it would be the equivalent to between two to five pounds of TNT equivalent explosives uh, would have caused similar damage. To test his theory, Thompson is using four pounds of dynamite to simulate the blast. We are going to detonate in the middle of a huge mound of peat. It will produce a tamping effect on the explosive. The peat bags are approximately the same size and weight of the body parts that were thrown across the street in Taiwan. If the peat bags are thrown a similar distance and some remain intact, then the experiment will have been successful. Three, two, one, five. Good. We can see from here, there are still quite a few full bags lying about. I can see a kidney there. You know, it's quite easy to imagine that that's you know, part of the whale's intestine. And similarly with all these other bags here. Thompson's estimation looks accurate. The heavy peat bags are thrown a similar distance to the whale's guts. I think that's as near a representation of what took place in Taiwan as we could have possibly have hoped to achieve. The blast required four pounds of dynamite, the equivalent of 30 hand grenades. If anybody had been unlucky enough to be standing immediately adjacent to the vehicle when that happened, they would have suffered quite serious injury, perhaps even death. But how can a mammal contain such a huge amount of potentially lethal energy? <laughs> 